Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nigel from the Norfolk Fishing Channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Today we're just heading out. I've decided to go on uh, to Yarmouth South Beach. First time I've fished it this, uh, this year. Um, can be really good in the winter for whiting and dabs and flounders and bits and pieces. But the only thing I don't like is it's dry and it's looking like it's gonna stay dry, but we've got a fresh breeze. I'm just leaving Norwich now. It's quite a moderate breeze. I'm just hoping it's not too bad when we get down there. Yeah, if, if it's a bit bad, I shall head off to the river, the Galston River, and sort of shelter in there. Yeah, it's just gone half past five. It's Monday, whatever it is, 10th of December. We're just going to get out there, give it a go for a few hours. I'm not feeling great, feeling a bit cold and fluey. But we're going to get out there, give it a go, see if we can catch a few fish. And that's all you can do, head for a few pulls of the string. But right, we'll see you in a bit. Two hook panel rig on there, just up and over, a little bit of a dropper. That's got a 3 0 and a 2 0 on there. That's 70 pound big body, 40 pound hook length. I say a 4 0 and a 3 0 bait holder style hook. I think uh, the 4 0 is the, I think actually a uh, mustard Viking. 3 0 is just a bait holder. I've got a nice big bit of fresh. Muscle, there's about six muscles and a squid, and a bit of a squid head on there. That's cast out as far as I can get it. This one, I've just not even cast out yet. Set up the 14 foot in half a uh, long cast surf rod, which is the uh, full carbon one, two for the 10. I put uh, that one I've left braid because I'm chucking it out, I'm leaving it because it was quite blustery this morning. but it's coming off the land. So when you get down this, uh, I'll just quit swing around. Once you uh, get through the sand dunes, and down off this little sand bank, off the top of the sand dunes, it's all right on the beach actually. The wind's pushing off, off, the, off the land, so it's not too bad off the shore. But it's still pushing in. It's probably gonna be about, I think it's 10 past seven high tide, and whatever the time is now, I got down here early, about six, quarter past six. So it's still ever, ever so slightly coming in, but uh, it should be all right here. I've got a three hook flapper on that one. I've just played all that up with, I've uh, got slightly big hooks today. Uh, just one with prawn and squid on every hook to start with. Two big king prawns on the bottom of the squid, I just found it on. Out. That's okay. down, down there, going up to the Yarmouth Way, it's a big dipper, Premier in. I know there's been uh, decent fishing coming out, whiting and dabs and soles and bits and pieces, so we'll get passed out. I've got loads of lovely fresh bait, which I'll show you uh, in a bit when, when it gets a bit lighter. I spent a couple of hours yesterday making up loads of wraps, bluey and bluey and squid, say mussel and squid, herring and squid, everything with squid basically, just the squid just put it into the water, innit? So 
so uh, nice and tough. Let's keep moving eye on the left rod. I've got a six ounce lead on that one, five ounce on this one. That seems to be holding quite nicely. We'll get this one cast out, shall we? I'm going to have a check of this in a minute. I bought myself a microphone. I've got a wired microphone that I can hook up a bit, a bit breezy, a bit blustery. It's 25 pound hook length on each one. Three hook flapper, it's two up, one down. I'm going too small on the hooks today. Just going to get this passed out, not too far. See what's what. I'll put the mono on this one with it being windy, but uh, if it's not too bad, as I say, off, it's not too bad down here actually. But it's 10 degrees this morning when I left. I might just unclip both rigs and switch over. And use the mono on the big rod. See if that holds. Uh, but that one went a bit to the right. It's flooded and it's still flowing left to right. So I might have to take this out, up tight it a bit, see if it holds. If not, I'll step up to uh, a bigger lead. Last bit out that. Three minutes. We have blank, so it's 20 past seven. I've just looked at the time, it's a bit later than I thought, but uh, oh, not all day. Let's get back in. Get something, uh, hopefully, about 10 times bigger than this. Diving as well. You always know there's loads of fish here. When I was driving here, I always go past. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows, let me know. Always drive past South Key Docks as you come in. This place has got all the big boats, obviously where the outer harbour is there and it goes into the river and there's a, a bank there and I don't see anyone fishing there can you fish it? Is it any good? Well, I mean obviously where all these big fishing trawlers go in and all the great big dry docks and the warehouses and where all, all the boats pull in it must be good fishing there it must be good I think it's just off the salmon load so if anyone knows you can fish there and if, it, if you can fish there is it any good I'm going to go check this uh, big bait bring it in just check the uh, muscle and squid if not I'll get it back out again but it should be bang on high tide sorry it should be bang on high tide now so Yeah, the rig got the same rod and lafay 40 foot uh, 
60 pound ASIO shock leader, 45 pound eight strand of Hercules braid, 70 pound rig body, 40 pound hook length. I've got a nice big uh, wrap of squid and muscle on there, a squid head, six ounce lead. So I've got an up and over dropper, which I've got a uh, Slight bead there. I'll show you the principle. That hits the bottom, comes off. This is running. That's just fixed in place by a print here. So, go over the back. On half seven, I'm getting the bites on form, but as soon as it's not too bad wind wise, what I was thinking about doing is switching these rods over, just unclipping them, putting the big rod with, on the mono, and using the braid on here because I, forget, I haven't used mono for a long, long time for probably about a year and a half. And I, you get used to braid and being so. You, know, you can see the bites and every little knob with the mono, it's a lot harder to see. And with this sort of swell and sway of the waves and everything, the tide, the rod just uh, is a gentle sort of lunge. So I'm definitely going definitely switch these over in a minute. Go back to braid on this one. The only thing I don't like to look off is not supposed to be. Clouds. We're not supposed to have rain today. Uh, it's pretty ominous over there. But as long as it's pushing south to the west, there's no birds. Starting to start to ebb now, or back on high tide. So I can bring this stuff down. Now I know we're going to be safe here. Get myself nicely organised. Yeah, get get the bottle down. Get myself nicely organised. Start fishing a little bit more effectively. I don't like to uh, when I first come down. It's fully, you know, fully set up. Get the box down, everything close to hand, and if I know, uh, if I don't know, the tide's going to be coming up another metre or so. I don't need scrambling back or anything. So now I know where we are. I'll get the box down and set up. 
but it's a warm day. It's a warm day. I haven't got my coat on and Do. I've just switched everything over, so I've got the mono on that one, just refreshed it, put another muscle and squid wrap on and cast it out. That one I switched over to the braid, I brought the stuff down. I've got a load of nice bait today, I've got fresh herring and fresh mackerel. Bought it all yesterday, filled it all up myself, got the whole fish, filled it. Yeah. Got some nice mussels there. I can use on this one as well. I've got some baby Argentinian squid. I've got some nice whole baby squid as well. I've got some mackerel here I'm going to need to use up. I've got a load of wraps that I made yesterday. I've got a some lovely mussel and squid wraps there. A couple of bluey and squid were left over, not many in there. Made up some lovely, these are sardine. I just cut the sardine and squid, I just cut the heads and the tails off into sort of like two and a half, three inch bits, a bit of squid. That's nice, fresh sardines. This one here oozing out. Got some nice, they've got a mixture here, some herring and squid or herring mussels and squid. Some real big donkey choker baits. I might get one of these on in a bit. Smaller ones, a herring mussel and squid. It's all fresh, it's not been frozen, it's not defrosted. in uh, plastic tubs and I've got a great big plastic tub here and an ice block on there. What's going on with this tide? But it was on the ebb. The last ten minutes, it's flowing back in again. that one and had a cracking bar there. But when I bought it here it was only a tiny little pin wire but I noticed the bottom bait had gone. It was totally round a big bit of uh, herring and squid on that on the bottom one. Because it was like four or five I was over there, four, five, six 
bit sharp. Rattles on the top, and it's still there when I got back to the rubber. Obviously, the ends on the bottom I missed that. Alright, let's come with me. You, come with me. another pair too. Exposed. Yeah, I can't see where I said earlier on. It's a great big flat round oily slick. Further out, you can see all them birds there look working it. You can see it's just come up there as well. Look, it's a couple of great big oily slicks. Literally, and those birds are working right along that line. Yeah, I saw it. There must be a. Uh, I think I was here last time and see this ever such a slight uh, waves coming up there. I think that's waves in this oil. And then I think there's a, obviously a reef there that comes up really, uh, really quickly and sharply. that one a bit longer. I think they're still uh, hanging out a bit further, not coming too close in at the minute. <clears throat> so I'm going to go and bring in the left hand rod, refresh the bait and put that nice big uh, bit of herring, mussel and squid, a bigger wrap on that one and get that wanged out. A little wine. You see what? <laughs> a little jumper. Another little wine, and we're getting back. See what I mean about? Yeah, it was just hardly distinguishable on the rod tip. It was just like, like that. But if that had been Bray, that would have been banging away, rattling away. It's definitely uh, absorbs all the lunges. You know, all these stretch in the mono and that compared to there's a massive slack spot come up right over there where the birds are wording. Great big circle of flat oil slick. Yeah, you just get used to braid. It's been about a year and a half, two years since I switched to braid. You see everything, every knot and bounce. So, 
definitely going to switch back now. Well, this guys. <laughs> I've caught minnows bigger than this. See. Look at that. That's tiny. I've had roach bigger than that. Probably about two ounces. Well, the braid works anyway. Showing the bite to me. That's the smallest white I've ever seen. That bite is going under the bait. Here you go, guys. You're getting smaller. White number four. Want a bit of fresh bit of herring. Tiny little hooks, size six hook. We're getting back. Plenty, but they're just tiny. Oh, keep trying, pick through, it's all the best you can do, innit? Just switching over to braid, the difference is night and day, mono. See every little knock and bounce, if I just tweak the line here, look at that. Zero stretch in this Hercules braid, it's fantastic stuff. If you've got, you've got 30 pound mono, you're casting it 100, 120 yards, the amount of stretch in that. But it is good for brazing resistance if you've got sharp rocks and things like that. Sharp rocks, wood, and bits and pieces, shingly beach, and yeah, you braid cut through, but uh, bike detection. seen that very often this winter. Yesterday it lashed and lashed and lashed down. It never stopped all day long. Never stopped. We'll start building an arc soon if it uh, doesn't stop raining. Okay guys, coming up to 10 o'clock. Got a bit slow on the ebb. So I made a decision. Scrap the big rod, just changed over. Just 
doing a one up, one down, clip down rig. And it's got bits of back balloon squid on there. We're going to get that cast out. Hopefully, while it's a bit quiet, see if we can just a bit scratching around and see if we can catch anything. I've been playing around with the distances, short, long, but not had anything for about 45 minutes. I'll get this cast out. That's the red glass of Stream 9. Just cast that one to the right, probably a bit too far right to be honest, but we'll see what happens. Well, the sun's getting out, that's getting quite warm. I think I'll just put both rods on the top. Yeah, I'll put both rods on the same pod. Tide's not that strong at all. It's got five ounces, it's holding nicely. If it is, there's a little bit more, I'm just going to go on straight leads. Seems nice and soft and smooth out there. Everything, you know, mackerel, herring, squid, mussels, cooked prawns, raw prawns, everything's just coming back un untouched, clean. So, I'm sure the fish must have pushed out into deeper water. I'm sure they'll come back at the bottom of the uh, ebb, as they always do. But uh, at the minute, it's really, really quiet. If anyone's got any good tips, Obviously, log worm would be good, but uh, I suppose if the fish aren't here, they're not here. I can't see any points sticking out of the big bait at all. It's two or three times I've cast that, not even getting crabbed or anything, it's just coming back as it was. So. There's plenty of boats out today, making a break in the weather. The sun's out, it's warm, it's not raining, it's not cold, it's not windy. <laughs> so I suppose I've uh, asking a bit too much to be uh, catching all day long. I've got about 10 white in, I know they're all tiny little pin white in, but I don't want to get too greedy, do I? Well, I was just I wasn't sure where to come today, I was humming and ahhing, and just looking at the tides, thought it would be best. But uh, I'll keep trying different places, you know, just for the channel more than anything else. It's just nice to take. 
take you guys somewhere different, somewhere new, rather than fishing the same place time and time again, week after week after week. We will be on an hour about the pier, and we really want to do Cromer Pier. It'll have to be a night job. I think the only place you can park is in the pain, pain spray car park there. So if anyone knows, any weird free parking, I don't think there is, I've googled it and googled it, there's no sort of free street parking over here. Um, I think there's like a pain spray car park. Well, I've got plenty of things in the uh, store. I'm having a bit of a nightmare as well at the minute with uh, my laptop's gone down, it's been not on its way out for ages. I've got a PC, I've just invested yesterday in a 5k graphics card so I can do some editing on there with um, DaVinci and start using a bit more professional editing software but I've got plenty of things in, in store after Christmas and the sales I'll also be getting a new camera um, I've got my drone license as well got both licenses for the drone operator and flying license. Uh, I should be buying myself a, a little drone and getting some footage as well. So it is getting too bright for you guys, you're not used to the sun. But the, uh, it's actually got six ounces on both rods now and it is a fair pull from right to left. I tried five ounces and even tried five ounce pyramid lead, but it was just bounced now, bouncing like, like a bouncy ball down the hill. So. But it's just nice to get out, relax, de stress. Can't recommend it enough. Even if you're not into fishing, you know, get out of the house, go for a walk, go for a park, you know, just for your mental health, de stress from work, park, woodland, come and sit by the beach, take a walk along the beach, just get out in the winter, long, dark, cold days. At work sometimes, I don't see, I get to work early in the dark, I leave in the dark all week, it's just, uh, yeah, it gets you down, just to get out, six or seven hours, you know, a week or on your days off and on a bike there, um, catch a bit of vitamin D, sunshine and actually warmth as well does your mental health so much good, it really refreshes your brain, revitalises you, makes you more positive. I hate, I hate being stuck indoors, I really do. If I've not got lots of to do, if I'm locked indoors, it's lousy weather and that, one day is enough for me, otherwise I'm climbing the walls. I've never been a house person, never. How's that, eh? Sit here. Watch the ships go in now. if you want. You can see all them birds about working now, not swooping and diving over that natural reef there. You can literally just see the reef. And where the white water is. So many birds working on that this morning. Now it's 
no tide. There must be so many fish there, and I don't, I never see anyone sort of flying a kayak or anything, but the birds are always there. There must be a shark up coming in the seabed where it's shallows up or rocks or there's something there to cause all that white water. It's just there all the time at low water. And those birds work all the time diving and swooping and there's so many fish there. Okay guys, I never believe this. Just cast it out again for that one more cast. Uh, one up one down rig. Cracked off. All of a sudden the other rod started banging away. Really, really heavy, but what the hell is this? All the way in, really heavy. Best point of the day. Attached to the bottom of the hook. Watch my rig. So literally just cast out. Got the whole rig back. Stress, ready for tomorrow for a long week of work, a long busy work, uh, busy weekend, that's for sure, because we've been mental. So, but I think I was just thinking, next time I come here, it was the same last time, if this is really good through the night, this morning, the water was nearly up to the bank in there, and it's, it's pretty much with a head torch and a, and a flood light behind you and the beach and all the lights and that so it's not it's not pitch black you can see what you're doing so I'll probably do an overnight here once you know find out the tides when it's gonna be high tide safe enough so uh, anyway I'll get to uh, get this little white and back thanks for coming along if you liked it please press like and subscribe it all helps to the channel and uh,